Uh, so what's that like? You, I'm guessing you get tested here and then you have to, I, I think you have to quarantine in, in Vegas, I think, or do they quarantine you wherever you're at? How does that work before you go over? Uh, well, they buy me a ticket to Vegas. I get to Vegas, they pick me up. I can't go anywhere literally after airport. I, I'm already in their possession, in the UFC's possession. And I get into the hotel, UFC hotel. They swab me for the test and they put me in the room for 36 hours. And that, that will, pretty much I'll be in the room up until they pick me up to the airport to fly to the island. And uh, so right like, few, like <clears throat> a few hours before we fly out, the results come back. And whoever is, if you're, ne- if you're negative, you're going. If you're positive, you're not. <laughs> so, yeah. What's it like when you're actually on there? I, I, there's not much other than the embedded, and I don't know if you know the YouTubers, Nelk, they had a, a lot of the stuff on there. What, are you yeah. allowed to go around? Or what's, what's the life on the island actually like if you're not just you know, training or being part uh, of the with, setup? With, yeah, with Nelk uh, on their... On their episode, actually, I was on, on that episode. Uh, they <clears throat> they showed them going somewhere. I think it was Dana White set it up with with Arabs because the nobody can no, nobody's allowed to leave the island. But somehow they left it and the, and they were at the resort with people. So that's that's not the case. And uh, when uh, you're a regular person on the island, it's just UFC personnel and that's it. The whole island is evacuated. Whole island is has like a, uh, by every entrance and every entrance or every exit, whatever of the island police forces on there. So, so you can't leave only one hotel operating with, with the restaurants and then the beach. So everything to ourselves, pretty much we have our own Island and we have personnel there working. So everything is awesome. But the thing is the only down thing you cannot leave, but I don't blame them <laughs> because even, even while being on that Island, somehow people test positive, like, passing multiple tests before flying to negative test, negative test. And they get in, they, they test negative and then they stay for a week and then somehow they become, they, they, they test positive that happened. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't blame them. Everything is done properly. So is it a fun experience or does it get old fast? Just like being on this Island or is it just basically the same as, as where you live or you just can't leave? No, oh, it's it's awesome. Just I don't know, like UFC made everything. Everything I don't know. It's just the personality there's working. The the bunch of restaurants and then they treat you like literally. Some one, one time I was like, oh my god, this is what slavery looks like because like the, the personnel was so nice. I felt so bad for asking them to do things because it felt like oh fuck man. They like I, I feel like I'm like the owner of a slave or something. At some point I was like. I don't, I just didn't want to ask them to do because they they overdone everything. It's just awesome in that in in that sense. <clears throat> and then and then the food is awesome. The beach is awesome. Plus you're next to the all the celebrities, 